Now, viewers, in the lead up to the fifth phase of the elections, what the BJP has done is that it has picked up another important issue. It has stepped up the appeasement charge, the appeasement attack right on the Congress. Now, leading this charge against the Congress has been the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister says it is the Congress, the grand old party, that wants to allocate 15%. He says 15% of the country's budget specifically for minorities. Now, this attack is coming just days after the Union Home Minister Amit Shah, you would remember, had also targeted Sonia Gandhi. And he had said that Sonia Gandhi, in her own backyard of Rai Bareilly, in fact, had spent 70% of her MP fund only on minorities. Sathyo, Congress ki soch hai ki desh ki sarkare जितना बजट बनाती है उसका 15 प्रतिशत सिर्फ और सिर्फ माइनॉरिटी पर खर्च हो यानी धर्म के आधार पर बजट का भी बंटवारा इतने सालों से वोट दे रहे हो मेरे सामने विशाल जनसमूह 40 50 हजार का बेटा है सांसद निधि से आपको कुछ मिला है क्या अब आप कह रहे हो मिला नहीं है तो कहां गया ये उनकी वोट बैंक में खर्च किया भाइयों बहनों आप उनकी वोट बैंक नहीं हो आप उनकी वोट बैंक नहीं 70 प्रतिशत से ज्यादा सांसद राशि माइनॉरिटी में खर्च करने का काम सोनिया गांधी जी ने किया है so that is the attack that first came in from Amit Shah, later from the Prime Minister. Now what the BJP has also done is that it's posted documents from UP era's time to prove that what the Prime Minister said was indeed true. In fact, snippets of that already up on your screens. The BJP has shared two documents. These are documents of the Ministry of Minority Affairs during Manmohan Singh's government. Now, one was the 2008 PIB release that clearly states, and allow me to quote, and you can read that also on your screens, that whenever possible, 15% of the targets and outlays under various schemes should be earmarked for the minorities, unquote. Now, this exact same thing is also mentioned in the Ministry of Minority Affairs Outcome Budget of the year 2013-2014. But the Congress party, has also responded. What it does is that it continues to remain in denial. It calls the Prime Minister's statements all lies. It says this is all bumka. Some in the Congress are even justifying the allocation, saying there is nothing wrong in spending 15% of the budget on minorities. Now, their argument is that resources should be distributed as per the population. They are, in fact, accusing the BJP also of denying the minorities and the Dalits they do share in the country's resources. Listen in to responses. You see, the Constitution again, 37, clearly says there should be equal distribution of, of the wealth or the tax. The taxes after GST, even a beggar pays a tax. And even a beggar has got a say on, on, the, on the treasury of the central government or the state government. Naturally, they, should, they expect the due share from their uh, contribution. Nothing wrong in that. And we know, know, know nowhere Dr. Manmohan Singh or the Congress party said that they will give a particular uh, religious minorities. He said, yes, all the religious minorities will be given their due share. What is wrong in that? So BK Hari Prasad there also of the Congress responding to that charge and earlier like I also said the former finance minister has gone ahead to say that all this is lies. It's good to have Charu Pragya, the national spokesperson of the BJP with us. Also Abhijit Ayarmitra, senior fellow of the IPCS. Lokesh Jindal is a political analyst. He does lean towards the Congress and he'll put forward the party's point of view. Also, we have Tariq Khan, national spokesperson of the SP. He's completing a panel. And Lokesh, let's begin by asking you that do you find anything wrong in what the Prime Minister and the Home Minister have said? If you're okay by accepting that, yes, the plan was to allocate 15% of the budget, for the minorities and you're okay about it will, will you accept that everything is fine and that's why what the prime minister has said and amit shah has said it's pretty okay 15 percent of the overall budget hmm. for the minorities i mean that's something laughable because uh, uh, if you consider we aren't even allocating enough for our social sector schemes 
for the overall population at large on what basis is the prime minister talking about 15% i think he's getting confused between 15 points and 15% the minority fund mm. is required to safeguard their social economic interests and that is within the constitutional framework the directive principle of the state policy requires the state to ensure that there is equitable distribution of resources as well as special provision is taken care of the backward sections of society as well as those who are the deprived sections and it is in this form that we have certain outlays mm -hmm. dedicated to safeguard the social and economic interests and the targets that they are talking about the 15% of the target it usually refers to the overall objective that a scheme is supposed to achieve scheme is supposed to realize it is not the 15% target of the overall budget for heaven's sake so it is complete uh, wrong interpretation uh, uh, i would say uh, a wrong information altogether and uh, that is something which is laughable that 15% of the overall budget is being allocated towards a community that is something not possible i mean the comptroller and auditor general the treasury benches the the legislatures the parliament these all bodies they are very much intact and they make sure that financial probity is kept intact whenever any form of policy execution takes place so these are some form of misinformation disinformation and only a jumla and it's not going to impact it's going to uh, have a negative impact so lokesh you you saying this is misinformation so charu are you and the bjp guilty of spreading misinformation and why are you doing this deepthi a very good evening to you and it's uh, great to be on your debate again now lokesh jindal and the congress party they need to decide what side are they on are they on the side which says equitable distribution means 15% of all resources need to go to the minorities or are they on the side that says this is misinformation you can't have it both ways lokesh make up your mind but let me explain what equitable distribution of resources means to the but twice has said that first right on the nation's resources belong to the minorities that is the muslim hmm. he repeated it again in recent times let's also talk about how in karnataka every single muslim was included in the obc list is that their idea of equitable distribution and because he is quoting the directive principles of state policy to me let me tell him that there is no reservation on religious lines in india at all full stop in fact our constitution actually talks about the uniform civil code hmm. so but i don't expect anything better from the congress because this is the party where their uh, very senior leader sonia ji will cry for three days for batla house where they give yasin malik a very glorified uh, kind of an image quran wani narrative is misspread by them half is sayed is praising the congress that is the congress party today and if they win a couple of seats also hmm. at least in those areas they're going to resort to their old ways okay you know you know charu what you've done is that you really widen that debate and gone into a lot of other i think comments that have been made by the congress comments that lokesh the party has not been able to even justify by any length before i get an abhijit i quickly want to see how the sp responds to this tarik khan ji is the sp okay with a 15% quota for minorities on one side rahul gandhi say jitni abadi utna haq nothing like that anything being said by anybody must be supported by some data at least hmm. means congress had been in power since long time bjp bjp always said that congress ruled ruled maximum time uh, in india so what was the last budget bjp when when congress left that was 16.6 crore lakh crore was the last budget in 2013 in congress got and what was the allocation for minorities you know not 3% not 2% not 1% is near about 0.18% okay mm -hmm. now tell me the time period and what was that 35 35 hundred uh, crore 3500 crore was the budget for minority simple mm -hmm. central government so that was the budget allocated to minorities in the last government of congress now go back to that last 51 first time government uh, found by congress and see all the budget you will not find any budget which will exceed 1% of the total budget so 
if the statement being made by anybody mm -hmm. and not being supported by any data that is a scrap that is nothing should not be debated i okay say you're saying this is this is scrap it should not be debated you know tarik tarik khan ji there is another way to look at this and abhijit you know i'll request him to push that point a little further the very fact that you know uh, different political parties including the sp the congress at times when you speak of minorities as a vote bank and you believe that you know you have some kind of a right over that vote bank but when it comes to doing anything whether it was the antony commission report or so many other reports the sachar committee reports it again and again tells you that the condition of the minorities continues to remain you know disturbing it remains bad so in spite of saying that you will you know put put aside a 15% allocation in the budgetary allowances for the minorities you do nothing for them that perhaps is worse but abhijit you know if if i ask you to sum up this entire debate and this conversation what would you say is this really an election debate right now between you know muslims versus of uh, the majority here or, or you believe that there is more grain in this uh thank you deepthi so you know uh, both tarik khan and lokesh are right in their own ways hmm. uh you know what has happened is tarik is pointing out the reality while lokesh is telling us about what uh, the congress used to keep saying but never used to deliver on the ground because you know they basically believed in a feudal muslim sunni society where they used to co-opt the leadership of that society which used to keep its own rank and file its own followers dirt poor and they used to con them day in and day out keep giving them promises left right and center remember rajiv gandhi is the one that overturned the entire supreme court ruling in the shabano case and amended the entire law in that particular case remember so the congress has actually mm. been extremely ruthless at keeping the sunni uh, 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 muslim population mm -hmm. subdued and suppressed throughout they pander to the worst of that community hmm. be it the shahi imam of the jama masjid be it the uh, 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 shabano uh, exactly. uh, uh, reverse karo types hmm. be it the uh, you know batla house was fake uh, sonia gandhi was crying hmm. crocodile tears or real tears i don't know whatever it was hmm. types they always pander to that stereotype because they want you to believe that every muslim is a jihadi they thrive they thrive on alienating muslims capturing their vote bank hmm. and weaponizing it for their own uh, uh, resources okay. now the same lokesh who was talking so loudly about the directive principles of state policy mm -hmm. one of those directive principles of state policy is also the uniform civil code yes. but you ask him about the uniform civil code and you see how quickly a retreat he beats why okay. it will only help uh, it will only help muslim mm -hmm. women if we get a uniform civil code mm -hmm. but it's very important we come to the bona fides of this okay. i would just point you today to uh, uh, the uh, tweet of a uh, noted anchor a person who the gandhi family trusts and keeps giving interviews yes. to hmm. uh, called rajdeep sade saima okay. i want you to check his this is the article he has tweeted out Abhijit. this morning yes this is the article he's tweeted out mm. this morning and yes. i just if you'll give me just 2 minutes i want to read out abhijit the, abhijit uh, apologies i'm interrupting you because i've run out of time right now we'll head into a break but i think what you've said is extremely significant so on the other side of this break we let location tarik respond to this when we come back on the other side